Hello. T today is a special video. This is Cooking with Farmer Brad. I'm Farmer Brad, and this is my little helper. And on today's episode, we're going to make buckwheat chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> now, you, you might have seen uh, the video where I got the Homestead box, uh, subscription box, and I received organic whole wheat flour, and I received buckwheat. So, I figured, hey, it's a great way to, to find a recipe and make something that uses those. Okay, here's the ingredients that you'll need. Half cup of unsalted butter, barely softened, fourth cup of white sugar, three-fourths cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon vanilla extract, one egg, one cup of buckwheat flour, three-fourths cup of white whole wheat flour, half tablespoon of salt, half tablespoon of baking powder, fourth teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cornstarch, and one cup of semi-sweet semi-sweet or bittersweet chocolate chips. So first thing we need to do is set the oven to 350. So I'll go back here and set the oven to 350. And as a safety measure, I always typically put the light on above the stove so that it's a reminder that the oven is on so I don't uh, leave the house without it. So beat the butter the sh and the sugar for several minutes until fluffy. So we need the entire thing of butter. Here, can you help put this in? Uh, stop burping. Okay, open that up and put the whole thing in there. While you do that, I'm going to get white sugar and brown sugar. It's okay. You're doing great. Shake it. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. White sugar. Here, you can put this in. Oh, okay. We might use that later. Okay, so that's a fourth cup of white sugar. And now we need three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar. So you can just set that aside. How's that hot cocoa? Is it mighty tasty? That's good. Mm -hmm. Mama made it for us right before we started cooking. Yeah. So I got a little bit more to put in here. Um, yeah. Looks like we're right about. Let's let's just put the rest of it in there. Okay. okay. No, I pour it in. Yeah, you pour it in. All by yep, all by yourself. Okay, so it says beat the butter and sugars, and uh, I'm just going to use the mixer uh, to try to help help it. Um, and just to let you know, the recipe I got this from, the view from greatisland.com. Um, so I'll put a link in the comp in the uh, description below for the link to this recipe, and so you can make it yourself. And if you hear a noise in the background. I have my 3D printer uh, right over here that is uh, printing, so uh, 
You may yeah. hear some of that noise in the background. Yeah. Okay, so here I have this mixer. Just happen to be there. And uh, so I'll, I'll make this, try to get the butter worked in there. time for adding the vanilla. Um, one tablespoon vanilla extract. Okay. So here I have uh, two farm fresh eggs. Um, we only need one. Um, but I'm going to crack it into this container. So here's the egg. Can you put it in there for me? Now I already put the uh, vanilla in there while you were going upstairs to get the egg. So, do the mixer. probably chose the wrong size bowl to put the liquid stuff in, um, but now it says that I need to yeah. mix um, the, the dry stuff. So let's see, one cup of buckwheat flour, so let's get this oh. in there. No, this this is one cup. That's three fourths of a cup. So I'll pour that in there. Here, here, Hold on. Okay. Push it down a little bit. Okay. Okay. That that should be good. Okay. And if you could pour that in here, it's okay. One cup of buckwheat flour. Three fourths cup of this organic whole wheat flour. This is going to taste so yummy. Hold on, hold on. We need a half teaspoon of salt. Let's see. So I put this in and you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and pour that in. Teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm going to do that one and you do that one. Okay. 
Okay, flip that in there. Good job. And then we need a fourth teaspoon. Do you see which one says one and then slash four? Does this one say one slash four? Yeah. Okay. This is what we'll use for the baking soda. Okay, flip it over in there. Good job. Oh, and I'm not sure if we have the cornstarch. Can you go up and ask Mama if we have cornstarch? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So in the meantime, I'll uh, be using a whisk. Okay. And get that all mixed up good. Make sure to check out the homesteadbox.com and you can get signed up for uh, monthly subscriptions. This month, December, they sent in uh, things to help celebrate the holidays. So the items that I'm using from the box are this buckwheat flour and this organic flour. Organic whole wheat flour. Um, so yeah, I figure might as well make some chocolate chip cookies. Now, if you have chickens, you should check out my automatic chicken water bucket. It automatically refills during warm months, and then during cold months, you can put in the heated element in there to keep the water from freezing. You can feed it in through a removable cap in the lid, and put that in there, and then just during cold months, manually refill the, um, you can manually refill the water. So that's worked well for me and uh, a lot of people this year have uh, purchased the automatic chicken water bucket. I have, I think, at this time, 43 in stock uh, at the Amazon warehouses. Do you, do you have the cornstarch? Okay, um, so we don't have any cornstarch, so we're going to see how it tastes without cornstarch. Yeah. Sounds good? Yeah. Okay, so now we have, here, you'll want to scoot a little bit closer this way. So, can you help pour this in? Mm -hmm. Wait, I need to get the, I need to get this. Okay, start pouring it in. Slowly, as I work this in. Okay. There we go. I'm trying to get these all mixed mixed in a little bit. Now I'll switch over to the mixer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we will be adding in the uh, one cup of chocolate chips. And then we go make chocolate Yep, can you pour that in there? Uh -huh. Oh. Well, that's one. Yeah. Now, do you want a couple of these? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's eat one together. Chocolate chip cheers! these mixed in.
you excited for Christmas? Yeah. How many days until Christmas? Um, four days. No, L last night when we went to see Christmas lights, it said three days. So if last night was three days, then we just have two days. Um, it's three days. No, two days till Christmas. Oh, two days. Yep. Okay, so this is the, um, it all mixed up. I will get our cookie sheet. It's, uh, I don't think that that oven has a preheat. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll get a spoon and we'll put a dollop. On there? Yeah. So, so let's put that down there. And One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so now we'll put that in the oven for ten minutes and let's see how they turn now. And so now they've uh, been cooking for around ten minutes, so I'll get them out of the oven. And here's what they look like. It says to uh, let them, whoa, it's, it's hot. Uh, it says let them rest on the uh, cookie sheet uh, for a few minutes and then you can transfer them to the rack so we'll do that and uh, I'll end up uh, taking a picture of the completed thing so <clears throat> thanks for watching this has been an episode of cooking with farmer Brad and helping. do you have anything to say to the camera chicken water bucket. And, and where do you get an automatic chicken water bucket well, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.